hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC without using entity framework how to search records from database with radio buttons and here we got the output of the code let's select the results female search employee records and here we got the output only the data which contains the gender female let's check the table now in this table the gender female contains only one chetrika if I search for male search employee records and here we got the output the gender male records if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MEC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is MEC Search Radio Button Without entity framework okay and from the templates I'm selecting MVC okay and the project is created successfully let's close this window open solution explorer now in this project in the models folder I'm creating a new class right click the models folder add class the class name I'm giving EMP class now in this EMP class I'm adding only public properties but before adding the public properties into this class let's visit SQL Server Management Studio we'll check the table and the column names and the table name is a new user range which contains ID username email password date of birth and gender and user image now my aim is I want to search filter records based on the gender using radio buttons let's write the coding part public int the property name is the ID the column name get set public string the second property name is username get set public string the next property name is you email copy this one paste here get set public string the next property name is user password get set public string data birth the data birth is the data type is date so it's not string it's date time that's set public string gender get set that's it we have added the necessary properties into this EMP class after that open solution explorer in the controllers folder I'm adding a new controller right click the controllers add controller and we see if I controller empty I'm selecting add the controller name is EMP search RB radio buttons is a controller name add and here we got the controller also now in this controller I'm adding the namespaces the first namespace using I'm adding this model folder so let's add MVC the project name 
dot models folder the next namespace I'm adding the SQL server using system dot data the next namespace I'm adding SQL client using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot configuration after adding these namespaces the next step in the server explorer I'm adding the database name I click the data connections add connection the server name is after adding the server name I'm selecting the database name sample db test connection is succeeded okay okay and here the database sample db dot dbo is added under data connections we need the data source of the sample db right click the sample db dot dbo go to properties and in the properties the connection string there is a data source copy that thing open solution explorer come to the bottom that the last is a web.config file open that one and in this web.config file there is already a connection string now in this connection string I'm adding name my connection this is my connection string name the second parameter is a connection string I'm adding the data source provide a name which is a system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the controller now in this action result index I'm adding the object string or with the object string main con is equals to configuration manager configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding the connection string name which is a my connection dot connection string SQL connection SQL con object new SQL connection I'm adding main con string SQL query is equals to select start from the table name is dbo dot new user edge copy this one where the condition I'm getting from the gender like plus plus double quotes single quotes now between this plus plus I'm adding the object search RP SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters the first one is the SQL query is the command text comma the second one is a connection object which is the SQL con let's open the connection string open method as well as let's close the connection string with close method now between this open and close I'm adding SQL data adapter as DA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL command object which is SQL com data set DS is equals to new data set let's fill the data set as fill with data set object DS after that I'm adding list class now in this list class I'm adding the EMP class create a object new list EMP class I'm adding the data rows for that I'm using for each row at um, it's a data row class dr in ds dot tables which takes a integer type index 0 is only one table dot rows property ec dot add new emp class now in this emp class i'm adding the properties id is equals to 
dr the column name id from the table and notice here we got an error cannot implicitly convert type object to int so let's type cast this one convert dot to int it's an integer type in 32 comma the next parameter is username which is a string convert dot to string to string dr between double quotes the column name is a username the second one is a user password convert dot to string dr this is a user password the next property is a user email is equals to convert dot to string dr between double quotes the data column name is a u email comma gender is equals to convert dot to string dr between double quotes the data column name is a gender comma and the last one is a date of birth convert dot the type is a date time to date time dr between double quotes i'm adding the column name d or b so after that the closing connection model state dot clear method in the written view i'm adding the list employee class object ec that's it we have written the to search the employee details based on the gender using radio buttons now let's create the index view page highlight the index action result right click that one add view the view name is index only in the template i'm selecting the list template the model class the our model class is the emp class let's add that one emp class and the data context class i'm not adding here because we are getting the connection string from the web.config file so i'm leaving blank and here we got the index view page now in this index view page i'm deleting the h2 header tag i'm adding center tag h1 mvc how to search records from database using radio buttons without using entity framework horizontal line after the horizontal line i'm adding at using html dot begin from method between double quotes the first parameter is the object road values that's an index view page the view page is an index comma the second parameter is a string controller name so double quotes our controller name is emp search rb copy this one paste here comma form method dot get we have written the code in the controller the get method so we are using the form method get now between these curly braces i am adding two radio buttons and one html button control at html dot radio button takes two parameters the first one is a controller search rb object comma we are searching the results based on the gender 
so in the gender we got the male and female so here I'm adding a male span tag male let's copy this one and paste here and this one we have female female now we require the button control input type is equals to submit value is equals to such employee records that's it now what I'm doing this closing curly braces and center tag I'm deleting from here I'm pasting after the table and next I'm deleting this action links edit details and delete which I don't require and as well as I don't require this create action link also so I'm deleting that one also that's it we have done the complete coding part we got a model class controller index view page now before running this application we have to change the controller name in the route config file so let's do that one open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one route config.cs open that one notice the controller name is a home delete that one our controller name is the emp search rb add that one here and the action result is the index only which is this page that's it let's check the results google chrome and here we got the output of the code let's select the results female search employee records and here we got the output only the data which contains the gender female let's check the table now in this table the gender female contains only one chetrika if I search for male search employee records and here we got the output the gender male records that's it